case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2014, the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit heard United States v. Guzman Montanez, a case focusing on the need for the government to prove a person's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt with sufficient evidence. Marcelino Guzman Montañez was found guilty of possessing a firearm inside a school zone and being a felon in possession of a firearm in Puerto Rico. He appealed his conviction, arguing that he did not receive a fair sentence and the evidence used against him was unfairly prejudicial and irrelevant. Evidence presented during the trial included witness Santiago Nieves Rivera's testimony of seeing Guzman with a black pistol outside a fast food restaurant and later finding him in possession of a black Smith & Wesson pistol in a bathroom. Guzman filed two motions for acquittal which were denied, and the district court sentenced him to 60 months in prison based on the nature of the offense and his criminal history. The appellate court affirmed the conviction for the felon in possession count, as there was sufficient evidence to prove this charge. However, they reversed and vacated the firearm possession in a school zone conviction because the prosecution failed to prove the defendant's knowledge of the nearby school zone. The case was then remanded for resentencing in line with the court's opinion. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.